Yeah, Erica, a step towards justice, but the family says they still can't even imagine the rest of their lives without Ying Ying. It took the jury less than two hours to decide Brent Christensen is guilty of kidnapping resulting in death and two counts of lying to investigators. In a heartbreaking moment, Ying Ying Zhang's mother broke down in tears outside the courthouse. <laughs> saying she wants to find her daughter and bring her home. Ying Ying's father says there is no language that can describe our pain and suffering. The family sat through eight days of gruesome testimony and evidence, including photos of blood stains on Brent Christensen's bed and a recording of Christensen describing in graphic detail how he killed Ying Ying. Christensen has not said what he did with Ying Ying's remains and investigators have not found her body. Our wish has always been to find Ying Ying and bring her home. We'll not give up. In closing arguments today, Christensen's defense attorney told the jury she expected them to find him guilty. His lawyers have admitted since day one of the trial that he kidnapped and killed Zhang. Their strategy has been to paint him as a man with mental health and alcohol problems who does not deserve the death penalty. The same jury will decide next month whether Christensen will be executed. We'll leave that to the jury. Um, we think uh, the, the trial, the process eventually is going to bring justice for Ying Ying and the Zhang family. That sentencing phase will start up July 8th. Illinois abolished the death penalty years ago, but since this is a federal case, it is a possible punishment here. Christensen was mostly expression, expressionless, looking at the floor in front of him as the judge read that verdict. Live in Peoria, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News.